A lot of the most impressive pictures we've seen so far have been of those big waves crashing against the beaches in our coastal communities. While well, the effect of Sandy's storm surge is also taking an effect on tidal rivers like the Pocomoke here in Worcester County. Water is rising rapidly, already threatening to cover roadways and bridges like the Porter's Crossing Bridge here between Newark and Snow Hill. From the back roads to the main roads like Route 113 in Worcester County, conditions were getting worse by the minute. In downtown Snow Hill, signs were already out, warning drivers of high water and water on the roadways. In an area where even lesser storms have been known to drive the Pocomoke River over its banks, local residents were buckling down even more with the threat of Sandy. I'm getting a little gas, getting a little milk, getting ready to go. Water's already coming up here in Snow Hill. Here, right here, where I mean, we're used to the water getting up pretty high. Um, I don't plan on being out long because it's going to get worse as the day goes along, so get what I need and get back home. Well, we haven't even seen the worst of this storm yet, and already driving conditions have deteriorated pretty bad. I've got the waterproof camera up on the roof so you can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, the rain is going to cause visibility issues. The wind gust will push you from side to side a bit. There's debris out on the road like leaves and sticks. And check this out right here. This is becoming more common, I'm finding. Water from fields encroaching right onto the roadway and that'll sneak up on you. Now by 10 o'clock this morning, I'd already seen several situations like this where ponds on local farms have spilled over, creating bubbling brooks like this right along the roadway. And the more this happens, the more spillover onto the roads we'll have, and the more hazardous driving conditions and conditions in general will become. Whew. Reporting from Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker, WBOC News.